Mutant Sheep. A story came out of this 80-year-old man in Montana who is illegally cloning and breeding hybrid sheep. Um, he imported <laughs> these parts, the testicles, of a Marco Polo sheep from whatever country in the Middle East um, without declaring them. He sent the DNA from those illegally imported testicles to a lab to create cloned embryos, which then he implanted into some female sheep in his ranch. He successfully birthed a genetically pure Marco Polo ram. Uh, he gave it a cute little name and he was essentially making these. So like a regular ram, a mature ram can get like 175 to 200 pounds. This one was over three. Like it had the potential to be over 300 pounds. So there's a giant sheep. He's making them to sell so that people can hunt them. Like he's 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 Wait, cloning these sheep. For them to die? Yeah. He's cloning these mutant hybrid sheep. In Where order is this? Montana. Montana. Oh, it's here in the Big States. Big mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. Well, that's sad. Yeah, that seems a little cruel. Well, because he, he has two felony charges me. pending. Because mm -hmm. obviously it was illegal to import these testicles and create mutant sheep that aren't native to Montana. Um, but it's wild. Personally, I think it's it's like quite wrong, duh. But two, like kind of impressive. Like he's yeah. he's cloning he's cloning. Yeah, it feels like he should use his knowledge for to, for to good. better the world as yeah. opposed to yeah, like some weird Hunger Games type stuff. Hmm. Thoughts? I I think that um the punishment fits the crime. Really? Yeah. You can't, I mean, dude, come on. They said that the kind of crime we uncovered could threaten the integrity of our entire wildlife species in Montana. Because the whole po the whole point of hunting is to like even the playing field. And, and obviously a lot of people hunt no, but and, it would and, be and like, for, for if, food like, and stuff like that. Hunting. This is just, this is just like for, for sport. For sport. Yeah, yeah for this game. is just for, for fun. fun. Yeah, uh, it, it, it doesn't. I don't like that. I don't, I don't think I'm, I, again, I'm not, I, and listen, I've never been hunting. Um, I, but I'm not anti hunting at all by any means. Um, so shocker, uh, God, Bennett just put on the red hat, Jeez. but, the, but, but this, this seems a little, this seems a little wrong. So to further it, um, that one, you've that, never been hunting. I never have. That shocks me. I, uh, just because most people in this state, I feel like I've hunted at some point. And you look like you hunt. Yeah. I never have. No, Bennett, Bennett likes to play this card. Bennett's artsy. <laughs> but it's an artsy don't guy. Y'all don't really know me. Um, yeah, you drink milk. You're a serial <laughs> killer. It's true. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing wrong with a glass of milk. Uh, Jessica, I would first like your thoughts on the mutant sheep before we go. Ben and gave me I don't. Those. I don't think that you should make mutant sheep. Yeah, I to think kill. she's anti. I think if you're using science for for good, then that's okay. But. I don't know. I don't really like clones, period. Clones freak me out. He even sold the semen of that cloned yeah, it's messed one to up. different farmers This guy was just trying to make a buck. Yeah. I don't I'm like saying, it. There were no pure intentions. The Gary Parish Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m.